Hey Gapsters, how are you Gapsters doing? I just ran out of my ginger tea, ginger tea is what it looks like. It's ginger lemon and rooibos tea and this is what I drink in between. Like I'm not big on fizzy drinks and that kind of stuff but you know you want something nice and flavorful and cool because it's so hot, so hot. I just ran out and I thought, why not make a tutorial about how I make my ginger tea? So, what do we need? Mason jar. Um, one of these garlic presses. Um, a long stick for my mason jar. Um, spoon. And we need, of course, ginger. This is the last bit, like, this is finished. And I use robust tea and of course my container of brown sugar. So that's what we need and boiled water. Okay, so now that's what we need. What I start with is what I start with is my garlic. I mean sorry, my ginger. And I just cut off the edges. Like all the like bits, these bits. I cut them off and like this dried out bit here cut that off and then you don't peel your garlic capsules you just you know you just actually scrape the skin off okay and that's what you have and then I cut this into little pieces and I take my garlic press and I stick it in there now this doesn't work as well for ginger as it does for garlic capsules but I'm just like squishing it so that when I add the hot water the ginger is open you see it doesn't actually squish or anything like nothing comes out really underneath see so I'm just squishing it open so that when the hot water hits it it actually op it's open and it can take the flavor Ooh, strong woman and sometimes I crush it like twice just to make sure it's extra open I throw it in there. And I use that whole piece of ginger. I actually would have used more, but that's all I've got left. So I like it very gingery. There you go. Okay. And then Two tea bags of rooibos. Put that away, and you take your spoon. Now I normally calculate because I use two teaspoons in a mug, like this big. I use two teaspoons for this mug. So, and this is about a liter. I think it's actually a liter and a bit. So I use two spoons. So it's like four teaspoons and I don't heat them, like I keep it very level and I put it in there. So it's literally just two teaspoons because you don't want it too sweet and too unhealthy. So this can go in there and the knife can go in there. And this I've already got wow. boiled water here. So let me pour it in and you can, guys can see. So there's everything in there. There's the ginger. There's everything in there. There's the ginger. There's the sugar. And there's the tea bags. And I just throw everything in there.
up until the brim. See this kettle is 1.1 liters and all of that is gone. So it's just over a liter that this mason jar is. And then I take my chopstick and I mix everything in. I like to let the tea bag sort of strain, settle in and release its inner flavors before I throw in the lemon. So mix everything up until it's a nice beautiful brown. And you can see everything like check out there's the ginger there. See? So you mix, mix, mix. This is still very hot. That should be fine. And then, why is my lemon juice all over there? Take some lemon. I like it very lemony gapsters, but... And then you just squeeze some lemon juice in there. I would say that's about three or four teaspoons. See how that color changed and went lighter? That's why I always like to see the tea go very brown first before I put the lemon juice because then I can never tell if the tea released its flavors and that kind of stuff. And then there you have it, Gapsters. That is my... That's my ginger concoction. Now I put that in, I let that cool outside for until it's cool and then I put it in the fridge and then when I feel like some I put some ice cubes and you know sometimes you can add more fruit to there. You, you can turn this into ginger beer if you put some yeast in here and then it'll be like ginger beer and maybe even a little bit of alcohol depending on how much you leave the yeast cooking for if you know what I mean but this is what I like to drink just in between stuff it's not too sugary it's healthy, ginger is very healthy for you, robust tea is very healthy for you and it's just like, you know, just very minimal amount of sugar. And then, you have this. What I do like is that like, sometimes you get ginger in the bottom and then you can chew it as you're drinking and it's extra gingery. Oh, anyway guys, I thought I would share that with you because it's one of the things that I really enjoy.